हेलो गाइस आई एम आलोक मिश्रा एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एन इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज हाउ टू क्रिएट अ क्लास ऑब्जेक्ट एंड हाउ टू स्टोर एंड एक्सेस देयर वैल्यूज देन फर्दर इन पार्ट टू आई विल डिस्कस हाउ टू स्टोर दीज ऑब्जेक्ट्स टू अ लिस्ट व्हिच इज एन इंस्टेंस वेरिएबल ऑफ अन अदर क्लास एंड देन वी विल डिस्कस हाउ टू एक्सेस दीज वैल्यूज फ्रॉम those instance variables so first we look out the first step and then we discuss it further means in part 2 okay so if you are able to see then i have prepared the inside of today's lecture what we will do we will first create a class by name student which have some attributes these are student id student name course list lab hours and lab cost i make a note point here that constructor will take all attributes except lab cost lab cost initially set to 0 i will tell you why means what does it mean so first we start we make a design how actually our class look like so what i have said sorry what i have said here is that if that box is our class if that box is our student class i say student class i just write it in acronym so that student class have some attributes what are these attributes it have some id name name then course list course list is what are the courses now pursuing a student is sorry for bad handwriting course list then there is a uh, two more attributes that is lab hours and lab cost that is lab hour lab hour i write it here lab hour and lab cost okay that's good and i made a note point here that constructor will take these attributes and lab attribute means lab cost is always set initially as zero so when we define constructor then by constructor we take these attributes only and we set lab cost to zero okay i hope that structure will understand you means you understood that structure so now we code that class so as we know class is an keyword in python to define a class and name of class is student great and we know to def we define a constructor by init method that is a special type of method which is the constructor for a class okay then init method first takes the object self is not a keyword it just a variable we can say a reference variable when an object is created then that object is passed to the constructor method okay so self is a reference variable only and there are some keywords what means attributes what are these that is student id student id student name student name course list course list then lab hours and we don't include here what lab cost so now we define means we initialize these variables so how we initialize by using self dot student id initialize with student id great and in same way we initialize other student name equals name oh sorry it's it's student name we take argument as student self dot course list course list is course list and self dot lab hours lab hours equals lab hours okay great now another variable is there which is lab cost which is lab cost and what we initialize what we initialize to lab cost it's zero as i mentioned to constructor as a note point okay so i defined a student method oh sorry student class and now if you look at the second point 
I have written that we define a method to find out lab cost which takes argument number of hours spent by a student in lab and rate per hour of lab means I I will calculate it as uh, a student have a method uh, calculate lab cost something like this calculate lab cost and it takes two arguments what are these arguments these arguments are rate per hour of lab means cost of lab per hour and number of hours number of hours spent by a student in lab and then how we calculate we simply return number the total cost and what how we calculate the total cost total cost is just a multiplication of rate per hour multiplied by number of hours spent by a student okay i hope you uh, get this that is too messy i can understand but just try to think okay now so it's time to define next class means method so what how actually a method look like method name is calculate 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 uh, lab hours i just say lab cost okay calculate lab cost as i try to sort this name i just write cal lab cost what it takes first it takes the object then uh, are what uh, number of hours and number of hours is there so no need to take an argument and what i have to pass more rate okay and now what it will return it will return the multiplication of self dot lab hours means it will calculate the lab hours multiplied by a rate of per hour okay i hope you get this now i will try to make some objects and we will try to access the values stored in these objects okay so i just add a code yes sir. code sir and i make a student one object and student one i just take my name roll number one my name is alok and actually alok is in string so i and course list course list is uh, i read c python and js what more number of lab hours i spent i say 20 so that's it i create an object it takes some time i don't know why Yeah, is there a student? Yeah, what it is th throwing? Uh, student name, ID, student name, course list. Okay. I have to make it make a string. So now I hope it will work fine. Still, a student is not defined. Okay, I am not run that, sir. Yeah, now it will work. Hopefully. So now we discuss how to access the value before discussing this i will show you actually what is our state of student one so i just pause my video and draw the state yeah if you look at here after creating the student one means object of a student class which i created here student one the state something looks like it means student id is set to one student name is set to alloc student course list is set to c python js and lab are sorry i i written mistakenly lab as not is it's lab as lab are set to 20 and lab cost initialized by zero as i have given the discussion means uh, right written in constructor graph constructor method okay so i hope you understood this and if you created an object then all the methods and the variables are means initially created okay so there is also a method called levels oh cal levels which takes an argument rate and return the calculated means whatever the logic we have performed and if we look 
the type of the student one is something like it is an object of student class we can try to perform uh, that operation here and check is it same or not type of i just check the type of student one okay what it returns it returns the main of a student it it means that it is just an object or an instance of a student class so now we start a discussion how about how to access these variables means how we can access our uh, objects variables okay means object values if i want to uh, know what is the name of a student one then how will i do in python we use dot operator to do this how i have to write the name of the object it's is to one and what values i want to know i want to know the student name now what it returns it returns alloc means the name of the student ones student one means object one object of student is alloc okay and in same way i can access the course list course list then what it returns it returns the list of the courses what i have done okay now we learned how to access the variables then how to access the methods in same way we ex we can access the methods i have to access call lab cost okay now what actually how many attributes actually lab cost takes it takes rate only means i we ignore the object means self uh, self attribute actually it simply uh, when i write something like this then the student one refer, means self reference to the student one so we don't need to pass the student one it i just need to pass what is the rate of per hour i say that uh, our, our cost means per hour cost is 2 2 rupees only then what it will return it will returns 40 how the rate passes to the rate passes to this method and the number of hours if i if we can see here then the number of hours uh, lab hours uh, spent by uh, alloc is 20 hours then and one hour cost is 2 rupees then what will be the total cost 20 multiplied by 2 that will be the total lab cost so in that way we can access methods i hope you learned till this and in next video i will continue a, a discussion to how we can store these objects into a list which is the reference means the instance variable of another class okay so i uh, for today that's it and i will uh, discuss further topics and the further uh, doubts in next video aaj ke liye itna hi jai hind jai bharat